Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another Fit Friday vlog. I'm about to go ahead and have my pre-workout. Some of y'all were asking um, if the bucked up pre-workout gives like any jitters or makes me feel sick or anything like that. Girl, no, not at all. Sometimes if I overdo it, if I do the most, it'll make me a little tingly. But even then, it's nothing crazy. I don't have any like adverse side effects from using this. If I can get this thing open, let me just sit y'all down here. I don't know if I showed y'all, but I did end up getting this sports bra here. Oh, I did show y'all. I showed y'all in a couple vlogs back, but I did get I did end up getting this Nike sports bra. I don't need that much support in the gym today. It's gonna be kind of like a light support day, just because I'm gonna be arm focus so i was like let me wear this sports bra because definitely won't be able to wear on a high impact day that's for sure oh i need to put some more on here it is the seventh day of my 25 days to fitness challenge i pretty much so far have been working out every single day since the first if y'all follow me on instagram you already know um, I have quite a few people joining the challenge with me, so they've been like checking in and everything, which has been nice, but girl, I'm not playing. 25 days to fitness means 25 days of working out. So we are on day seven. We have 18 more days to go, and just gotta take it one day at a time, y'all. That's what we're doing. I already told y'all, my goal going into the new year is to not be like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, start a little weight loss challenge or fitness challenge at the beginning of the year. No, I wanna already do it now to where I'm just even better and just in a great place going into 2021. So that's pretty much the main goal or the main motive for this 25 days fitness challenge that I'm doing. Um, and I'm excited that people are doing it as well because um, some people are like, they haven't worked out in forever didn't plan on working out and they're they're doing it so good 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 stuff it's a completely new day <laughs> yesterday i actually ended up leaving my camera um and like my tripod at home so i didn't even get to record my workout for y'all so i just posted like you know some little clips from my instagram story but today we are back in the gym honestly it was rough getting here i just i'm not in the mood today i'm not I'm gonna be completely honest. This is day eight of working out every single day and I'm tired, okay? So, we are going to push through. I'm gonna set y'all up right here so we can get our workout on. And it's not like a tire to where my body's like super sore or anything and I'm like overdoing it. It's just, tired as in I didn't feel like coming to the gym <laughs> it's that kind of tired so with that tired your girl needs to push through you know so because you can't really uh, like just completely go off of like how you feel in the moment so you just gotta do what you can do I already took my pre-workout so that should start kicking in here shortly but hopefully once you know I start moving and I get my music going, my energy gets picked up. Cause right now, I ain't feeling it.
Girl, I was so hungry, I already started eating. But post-workout meal is going to be eggs with some pico. Toast with a little bit of the Kerrygold butter, um, which is keto-friendly if you are doing keto. Doesn't have really a lot of carbs at all, but does have quite a bit of fat and spicy ketchup. So got some carbs in there, some fats, a little bit of protein from the eggs. So yeah, if you guys have not tried pico on your eggs, y'all know I've been obsessed with pico lately, but girl, try pico on your eggs. I apologize because I've been like doing Instagram stories and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to, like I forgot about the vlog. So today's lunch is, I already started eating this because y'all was so hungry, but Russell ended up making some teriyaki chicken and then we have some broccoli with some jasmine rice. This is like my actual first meal of the day, earlier after my workout, which I also forgot to come back and talk to y'all. I ended up just having a banana um, and like an energy drink. Usually from the first time that I actually eat throughout the day, I like to space it out like every two to three hours until I get to dinner. Sometimes I have a late night snack and it's usually the uh, bum chicka pop popcorn. It's usually this, honestly. If I end up having a little snack, good morning y'all. It is Thursday. I feel like I have been in this kitchen the whole vlog. Girl, first of all, I know y'all see the hair. No, this is not my hair. In case some of y'all are wondering, this is a little wig. It wasn't a wig to begin with, it was actually bundles, but I've literally had this hair for like, it's 2020, eight, seven, eight years, no lie. It's been in a bag for months, months. I took it out, I plopped it on, put my headband on, my headphones, and boom. I just gotta fix it a little bit, but girl, yes, this is this is it right here. So, this is what I'm wearing to the gym today. Your girl is losing pounds, and it feels so good because I honestly had Thanksgiving did me in. I mean, Thanksgiving weekend did me in, okay? So, I definitely had gained some pounds. The thing that I realized is that it is not hard for me to gain weight at all. I can gain weight like that, which is why, duh, I need to make sure me of all people am disciplined with my eating, with my working out, because I can gain weight at the drop of a hat. I feel like I eat two donuts and I gain two pounds. So. I definitely am happy at where I am on the scale right now. I hopped in there this morning. It was good and boom, that's that. I will show y'all, um, you know, my official weigh-in once the 25 days to fitness are over or is over. Um, the challenge that I'm doing, I've still been working out every day, y'all. If y'all been following me on Instagram, make sure y'all do. But I've been checking in every day. It's day 10 today, and I've been in this gym, or in this kitchen, this whole vlog, I feel like. I, I, I really apologize, okay? Definitely not my intention, y'all. I'm just gonna be honest. I really have been forgetting to vlog, which is crazy, because y'all know I love y'all, but I've been forgetting to vlog because I've been you know, focus on my Instagram stories and trying to check in and all this stuff. And girl, I just honestly have been forgetting to pick up the camera. So if y'all also are wondering, I have on this sports bra here. I don't remember if I told y'all, but last time Yvette Sports sent me something, I actually used my own discount code to get me like three sports bras. And this happens to be one of them. So I really love that cutout detailing on the top i do still have a code shea 15 i don't believe that one expires you can use that whoa you can use that for a lifetime so if you guys are looking for some cute supportive sports bras definitely check out Yvette sports and um use my code shea 15 to get 15 percent off it's about nine o'clock right now not too shabby not too shabby my workout today is probably gonna be like a little over an hour so hopefully I'm out of there by 10 30 that's the goal I want to push it as hard as I can for like 45 minutes and then be up out that bad boy so Lego three two 
get my pre-workout. We out of here. eating anything that we have in the refrigerator, which we do have a lot of chicken. We have some rice in there, some broccoli. But I don't know, I didn't feel like that. So I ended up getting a Cobb salad from Chick-fil-A. So this is what we're gonna eat. Yes, it has fried chicken on there. And yes, it is good. I told y'all, it's all about balance. And uh, yeah. This is what we're having for lunch. It's about almost 12, 15 minutes to 12. So it's like 11.45. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and have this salad. I got black balsamic and avocado ranch dressing. Yes, of course, I am aware that condiments adds calories, adds carbs, adds fats, whatever it has in here, it adds to it. I know that and it has sodium. I know that, okay? It's all about moderation, y'all. You can still have condiments and everything like that as long as you're factoring it in, it in to what else you're eating throughout the day, you know? So I am very, very much so aware that these add carbs and everything to this meal, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle that over there. Not drown it, but... I mean, I have this much left in there. <laughs> so I use a good amount of it. And then the avocado ranch has more fat. So if you are doing keto, this would be a great option for you because for one packet, it's 310 calories, which are a lot. It has total grams of fat, 32. The sodium is 520. It has one grams of protein, three grams of carb per packet. So, not gonna put too much of this on here just because that is a good amount of calories. I usually use like half the pack, so it's still quite a bit in there. And that is going to be lunch, y'all. So it's about 12 right now. I haven't eaten anything before. I just had my pre-workout before I went to the gym. So my next meal or actually my next snack would be around probably 2 two thirty, most likely just gonna have something simple like a banana and then i won't really eat lunch until about 3 45 4 ish you know so yeah y'all we doing this thing day 10 of working out consistently consistently i already posted my check-in from my workout today on instagram so we are getting this thing y'all and I'm excited because I definitely, definitely see progress from that vlog, how I was feeling on the day after or the 
was it the day after Thanksgiving? I think it was. How I was feeling the day after Thanksgiving when I had to go back to our apartment and get that fiber <sighs> compared to now, I feel so much better. So much more energized, just so much better. So I'm feeling good. I'm in a good place right now. Again, I told y'all my main reason for doing this challenge for myself was mainly to reset my body now and get my body in a great you know position great shape before 2021 because 2021 i just want to be only going up you know i don't want to be starting over you know on january 1st you know like no i want to already be there and already be summertime fine okay so that was the goal that's the intent i love the fact that a lot of you guys are doing the challenge with me as well and you know checking in with me dming me showing me y'all's pictures stuff like that it's definitely been a win so let me eat this salad because i need to get out these clothes and i need to shower okay but if you are not follow me on instagram because i definitely have been checking in on there every single day and again i do have a fitness highlight on there where y'all can pretty much see all my check-ins everything from day uno so it is day 11 and i know i've been coming like in and out on different days but it is day 11 hold on y'all let me see because my phone is doing something crazy so i just posted like you know just a, a random story on my instagram but now my phone is like saying i have no service and it keeps freezing on me and i don't know if i spoke this into existence but I've been saying that I want the iPhone 12. <laughs> it still says I have no service. I can't post anything. I can't call nobody. I can't text somebody. I don't know what is happening right now. So I'm just going to let it chill out for a minute because if y'all see up there at the top, I have no bars, like no bars whatsoever. So that's interesting. Okay, so... The other two that I ended up getting was this one here. Of course, they're both black, y'all. Y'all know, y'all know how I feel. But I got this one here, and I like this one because, of course, y'all know I'm a sucker for mesh detailing. Y'all see it does have that mesh front, and then it has these thick black straps on the side. I really love the back of it as well. Just I just think it's cute. So I ended up getting this one. Y'all can use shade 15 again for 15% off. And then I got this one as well because y'all know I also love this detailing here. I actually ended up buying this one after the Nike one that is pretty much similar to this one. I honestly forgot that I even had the Nike one. So yeah, I have two like this now that has this extra little strap over the boob area. This one does have a cutout in the middle of the chest. And then this is how the back looks on that one. So, so, so cute. Today is going to be a light day. Um, what I'm doing is just kind of doing some stretches, some type of Pilates, yoga type workouts here in the room. Um, and, you know, a mixture of abs, but really not doing any cardio or weightlifting, anything like that, because I need a break. I'll be back doing that tomorrow, which is Saturday the 12th, but today is just strictly chillaxing. Still getting some movement in there, having kind of like a active rest day, but taking it very, very, very light. So y'all can kind of see this hair a little bit better now, y'all, I told y'all. The hair is old, okay? I literally throw it on. I haven't washed it. Once I wash it, it'll look better. But girl, I literally took it right out the pack, right out the bag, and put it on my head. And I mean the bag that it's been sitting in for months, at least probably six months. So that's what we have here. My skin is looking pretty good in this camera. Not gonna lie. I've been, you know, focusing on a new little workout or face routine, and I feel like... It is working and clearing up some dark marks. I wanted to show y'all, my mom came in clutch and she got us a housewarming gift. Um, so I have been wanting this y'all and I was contemplating getting it for us um, for like Christmas or whatever. 
but my mom ended up getting us an air fryer y'all i am so excited so so excited so we plan we haven't opened it yet as y'all can see we've had it for what a couple weeks now um but we've just been kind of waiting because i have been wanting or have been looking on pinterest for like some different recipes air fry recipes to try out so i think we're gonna crack this open on this weekend because i am excited y'all i've been wanting the air fryer i always see people make recipes with this and a post supposedly this is supposed to be a healthier way of like frying and cooking things y'all see up to 70 percent fewer calories number one brand y'all i'm so freaking excited you see your favorite fried food healthier first of all i love me some cheese sticks i love me some burgers and i definitely love me some donuts so we are going to be opening that thing up this weekend i'm super 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 excited about it i'm so appreciative that my mom ended up getting us that is one of our little gifts for our new home of course y'all can see i'm sure like just with me having the camera just around the place we still have a lot to do we have not really decorated or anything like, anything like that we honestly are still trying to get settled in so we still have a lot to do and a lot to get but obviously we don't want to like settle on stuff like we want to make this ours and just have it have it be decorated so nicely how we want it to so y'all are gonna probably see some little sparse areas um in here for a minute <laughs> if i'm being completely honest because right now just with covid and everything that's going on um a lot of stores are short you know they don't really have a lot of inventory and if they do it's like weeks on top of weeks um delivery time so yeah right now i'm just about to go ahead and get me something to eat i am going to most likely have um a little chicken couple chicken tacos of course i'm going to be using the carb scents heb tortillas they look like this they have four grams of net carbs because they have 13 grams of carbs but nine grams of fiber and y'all know you subtract the fiber from the amount of carbs so yeah four net grams of carbs and russell ended up bringing home some little which we've been tearing it up but he brought some fajita um like steak where i think this is beef i don't know what this is honestly beef and chicken and then there's another one in the fridge so i'm gonna go ahead and get this and this is going to be lunch actually no i think this is rice yeah this is rice but we do have some chicken in here so most likely gonna have one chicken taco and one beef taco so that is going to be the lunch for today y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog again i'm so sorry because i honestly was forgetting to pick up the camera <laughs> i really was forgetting to pick up the camera y'all that's why i've been trying to like insert the little instagram clips from my story into the vlog because i've been forgetting so i hope y'all forgive me but i'm about to go ahead and chow down eat this food y'all i will say one thing one of the main things that i've learned that i've learned so far on this 25 days to fitness challenge is that if you keep going if you are consistent if you put in the work you will see results and i know that's like something that of course we should know but it's true y'all it's a daily grind it's a daily you know just effort to stay consistent and do what you have to do even if you are getting in 30 minutes a day i've also learned that we make time for the things that we genuinely want to do working out being one of them if working out if exercising if your health is important to you you will make time for it you will find time to put it in your schedule and make it a priority so i think with me just kind of using instagram as a way to hold myself accountable and check in every day it's something that i know i have to do so because of that 
I've been prioritizing working out every single day and like you know what I have to do this if I have other stuff to do okay well where am I gonna have time like where am I gonna put in working out you know it's almost like I don't want to say building my schedule around it but in a way I am because the first thing I put on my to-do list is gym working out because it's a priority so I think if anything this challenge is just building up that habit of getting in a routine working out every day not allowing myself to be like, oh, okay, I won't, I won't work out today. And then that day turns into two days and you know, so forth. So if you keep going, if you're consistent, if you make daily, you know, efforts and changes and small steps, they will add up y'all. They will add up. Um, of course, y'all know my fitness journey is not perfect, but we still here. We here, we here, we still add up. We still making changes. We still doing the Zang thing, okay? So I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I'm about to go ahead and eat, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.